So now that we're still in the architectural model, we want to um, get some information out of here that we will need for our electrical model. Let's see. Um, one thing we will want to get is the title block from this model. Now, I'm going to close this down on the left again. Um, let's find one of their actual sheets, production sheets. As you can see, there's a lot of sheets in this set. Well, it's, you know, a seven or eight story building, so it adds up. Uh, we've got ceiling plans and floor plans. Um, we just want to go to some plan that's going to have a title block that we can use. If we go to their cover sheet right here for their plan set, and it takes a second to actually generate this, go to their cover sheet. Maybe we can get a title block from there. Okay, what's this? There's the cover sheet. And then way over here, this is, okay, this is some kind of a schedule that is their master sheet index. So they have this here and they probably use this to generate the individual schedules for their sheet list. Hi, hover over this to like find the title block right there. This is the architect's title block D size cover. So this is a special title block just for their cover. Well, we most likely will not need that title block unless we're producing some kind of a cover that's similar. So let's go to another sheet. Let's go to their symbols and abbreviations. Now, okay, this looks like a more standard title block. So you hover over that and you can see that that, click on that, and that is their title block D size if you click on this, you can see that they have a number of other, you know, E1 size and B size. They have a number of other title blocks within their uh, model. But we just want, for now, this one. So, we want to extract this title block for our use. Well, how do we do that? Well, there's no way to just extract this family. We have to go through a process of editing the family and then saving it. This is one of the uh, few times that you will actually be editing a family. Uh, that's a more advanced topic um, that we only want advanced users doing because you can really mess things up if you if you mess up a family. But in this case, we will highlight, click on it, and then go up to this Edit Family button in the ribbon. It will open up the Family Editor. Now we can see the pieces and parts that are within this title block family. We don't want to edit, modify this or edit it, but we do want to save it. So now we're going to file, save as, so we can tell it where. It is a family, not a model. So we we'll save that family. Um, we don't want it in ZArch. We want to put that in our XREF. We'll leave the name that they gave it. It's got uh, the architect's, uh, architect's name in it, which helps. So again, options before we save. See, there's a three. We don't need three backups. Change that to a one. The rest of this doesn't matter. OK, and then save it. Now we have saved the title block. We can close this tab, which is this title block close there back to the architectural model so now we've saved the, the title block